So Nikki, what are we up to today? Well, we're here in just outside a, a town outside Dublin called Nace, and um, the weather's fantastic as you can see. Um, but we, we've, we've been leafleting all morning in water. We started off in Waterford and we've got rid of thousands of leaflets there. And we're, we're now just, you know, making our pres presents for help. And uh, we've got a, not a bad reaction actually. Probably not as good as we've had in other places, but still a quite a positive reaction. Are you both staying to the referendum? Well, not one there. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm quite hopeful actually because, you know, if everyone that says um, if what we, the reaction that we've got from people, I think we might be looking forward to a, a no vote today. the Irish Parliament, um, but just like all the other parliaments across the European Union, in Westminster included, it doesn't really rule the people of Ireland. Um, you know, that they gave up their sovereignty when they joined the European Union on the common market as was then with the UK in 1973. And now it's just a, it's kind of almost like a ghost parliament because the real laws are being made in the European uh, Union, in, in, more importantly in the Commission, the Unelected Commission. And this week, the, today, the people of Ireland have been asked to vote on this austerity treaty, which is going to hop them, hook, line and sinker, into the European Union. They're going to become nothing more than a puppet of Angela Merkel and her German successors. It's really not what the Irish people really want. They've been, they've been lied to by their politicians, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm hoping today, that what we, the Irish people have spoken to us, they've said to us they'll be voting no, and we're hoping today for a no vote, for the benefits of Ireland can claim their sovereignty back and more themselves. So what, what do the Irish people really want? Hi, we're, we're, we're here in Dublin at the... Um, the party of um, European Socialists, the, uh, the Irish Labour Party, and I think the party of European Socialists, I think this is a contradiction in terms, because what I understand of Socialists and what they're supposed to stand for is uh, to promote and to represent the working classes. Well, this is a contradiction in terms, because European Socialists, the European Union, does not work, does not support the, or, or represent the ordinary working class voters of Ireland or Europe. We have seen that their, their savings have been decreased and the, um, the, the protection savings wiped away by the devaluing of the euro. Unemployment throughout the European Union rise, including here in Ireland, especially youth unemployment. The European Union simply isn't working. And we have, we see in this referendum here in Ireland, most of the trade unions actually campaigning for a no vote, yet we have the, the Irish Labour Party funded by the European Union voting for a yes, totally diametrically opposed to the people they purport to rep represent. These people are a disgrace and I will hope that the Irish people, I, I read in a newspaper article a few days that they're in, in the next Irish general election they're, they're standing to lose 17 seats and what these have done, they've done a massive disservice to Irish politics because what they have done, they've handed over the baton of representation to Sinn Féin and Sinn Féin in future elections are going to have a far more prominent place. And that's what they've done, they've betrayed their own people and they've actually caused a legacy, a probably a negative legacy for Irish politics.
now half past uh, six on the uh, referendum day and we're in O'Connell Street, one of the most busiest streets in Dublin. And I've just been speaking to some of you. It's amazing how many people still haven't voted. And there's still under there's a lot of people still undecided. Um, they they feel a bit of pressure to vote yes because all their politicians are telling them and that, that you know that there has to, there's only prosperity if they vote yes. But they really want to vote no. And we're getting some really staunch no's and we're getting thanks. We're, we're getting some really you know positive feedback from people and um, yeah and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful uh, tonight but of course the pressure has been put the, the newspapers yesterday were just full of yes adverts the editorials were completely biased and I feel sorry for the Irish people because they've been hoodwinked and pushed into this treaty which simply they obviously do not want to do on the evidence of people I spoke to this week.